I appreciate uh, REA's uh, message, and I appreciate uh, Rebecca's message before that, because the, the prophet says that the, the nations will look at Jerusalem, and Jerusalem will become the desire of all nations. That's a name for Jerusalem, the desire of all nations. And I appreciate a president who's willing to stand um, for this nation. Um, and let's pray. Father, we pray in the name of Yeshua. Every believer listening to this program right now understands the significance of this election and the significance of the United States, the significance of the position uh, that it carries as a leader, as a uh, strategic part in leading the nation. So goes the United States, so goes the nations of the world. So, Father, we pray it. We ask it. It is our humble prayer before you here in the nation of Jerusalem that this would be the beginning, the beginning of the prophet Haggai when he says that the nations will desire Jerusalem, that Jerusalem will be, become the desire of all nations, that the, 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 the existence of Jerusalem, that there's been nothing like it, there will be nothing like it ever before seen in the world. The prophet Haggai speaks that the, the, this latter temple this latter existence of Jerusalem will be greater than we've ever seen. So Father, let the, let the United States, let this administration continue its work. We pray it, Abba. We pray it, the God of Israel. We pray to you to allow this administration to continue the work that it's begun. We're not through, as R.A. just said. We're not through. It's not over. So we pray it, Father, that you would continue it and to allow those of us who are praying now with these weeks now before the elections in the United States to begin to pray and intercede on behalf of what's right in the world. And we pray it and we ask it again in the name of our Messiah, Yeshua. Amen. Hallelujah.